welcome to yeah second show today and i wasn't expecting to do to do this show for you guys but again it's breaking news i've got it got to bring it to you and you can see down there this man over where's he gone this man over here there we go that man over there ain't coming to the amazon mate he ain't coming now west ham pull out of negotiations maserahi deal from Bayern munich everyone is off that's how strong the message coming out from the club is the deal is off west ham united have walked away from the deal um many different aspects to this um from kind of one or two really close sources they're saying there were some serious concerns about the um, injury record, but more more than that was the escalating costs related to the deal. Um, agent fees again, agent fees, West Ham, Sullivan's favourite word, agent fees. And we have completely walked away from the deal. We're not even going to go away and think about offering more. And it just walked away from the deal with the injury record the agent fees, um, but then one or two more angles to the story from other sources are that he didn't want to come. Like Wan Bissaka, he didn't want to come to West Ham and that the Manchester United manager has been on the phone to him last 24 hours telling him, we're coming for you, just hang in there, don't sign for them and he's kind of happy with that. So he didn't want to come. Wan Bissaka doesn't want to come. It's becoming, um, I keep saying be positive, um, long way to go till the window and maybe every other club's having this kind of situation but um, I don't know what to think now because we've, we've, we've obviously uh, went in for the Peters deal went in for the Basaka deal went in for this guy and that's kind of not a good look for any club when three, four targets and half of them don't want to come and and I told you that is is kind of we're not in Europe unfortunately which is a little bit of a, an issue with some people and obviously, Man United come calling or Juve and people like that into Milan. It's always going to be difficult, but it is. I mean, Villa in Champions League, and, and as, as an example, so let's see what they can attract, really. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of what they say. No agreement on agent side reached. Players more or less had agree, agreed to leave. And, and, and unfortunately, uh, Man United are now in pole position to sign him from Bayern Munich, really. Um, let's see what Sky is. Sky is saying Man United remain interested. Talks are ongoing while West Ham are now pursuing other targets. Um, now we're looking at the Torino right back, uh, Bellanova. Again, I don't know anything about him. It's just breaking news. So we'll have to go and see what he's all about, really. Um, but yeah, I mean, talking about this guy, the pedigree was there. He was all right. Injury record was a bit of a concern. Um, but if the club are going to do medical on him and they think it's all right, then the risk, because a deal at 16 million plus add-ons wasn't bad, it was worth a risk. Um, worst case scenario, get a better fullback in next year, he's, 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 he's the one, he's one of the two in that position, I don't know how to put a positive turn on it really, but um, that's kind of what's going on. Uh, yeah, looks like Eric Ten Hag has talked about him on the phone several times last few days, convinced him not to accept West Ham's offer, wait for Man United. Um, someone else is saying, are West Ham going to go in with Wan Bissaka? I don't know, because they're saying he doesn't want to come. So I don't know what to make of it. Wan Bissaka don't want to come. Walker Peters, I think, wants to come, but Southampton wants a certain amount of money, so... Listen, I know to get a deal, you have to get the get the transfer fee agreed. Then you have to obviously get the medical done. You have to get the players' um, terms agreed. Then the agent fees agreed. Um, so a lot, lot of different things to do. But so these transfers are either falling because of the fee ain't been agreed. And then all the players, we're not going to pay the players' salary like Van Bissaka. Or the agents fees like the David Striker deal and, and this one. So West Ham got to make up their mind. The, the thing is, there's only two windows in the season and they're critical. They're very critical. They're even more critical when you've got a new manager that's coming. This is his first window and we need we need a little bit of help, the squad, more than a little bit of help. That's why, I mean, if the manager's been in three, four years, he's just tinkering with the squad, which means when he's been in charge for two, three years, you, you, you only want to buy a couple biggies in each window and tinker it around we're here is a major overhaul unfortunately due to all this shit that, that's kind of been left behind a bit like what Stan was saying Stan was saying about Labour and Tory in it but 
that's what it is. So we do need to perhaps think about the bigger picture and really think about whether it's okay to walk away. You know, there's only so many right backs of a certain standard that you want and, and have earmarked. And if they're on your list, they're on your list for a reason because you've scouted them or you know about them. They'll fit into the system. Jayla wants to play. There's, there's a, the, you know, the thing we don't want to do is we lose all our main targets that would have settled into the star West Ham are playing and it suited the player's style as well, which is key to settling in and having a half successful credit West Ham. What you don't want to do is walk away from all the deals financially and then you end up with something slightly cheaper, but the player ain't exactly what the manager was looking for. Then we're back with the David Moyes issue again. Yeah, we're, we, yeah we've signed a few players, but are they going to fit in? Are they going to do well? That's the only thing I'm concerned about. And if you go back to Walker Peters after going all around the world, getting a slap in the face three times, how does that make Walker Peters feel? Oh, all right, mate, did you want me, did you? <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's football, but there's so many things, you know. And, and if Walker Peters signs and the manager says he was always our number one target, I'm going to fucking go ballistic, mate, because <laughs> that's bullshit. You can't even say that now, right? So... Uh, it is what it is, uh, but listen, we got to report it. It was huge breaking news yesterday. It was true. It wasn't bullshit. We were in for him. We went in for him. We spoke with Bayern. We got the fee agreed, and the add-ons agreed, but the player didn't want to come. Agent fees is an issue. Man United have come in, so it is what it is. So don't knock the messenger. The, the message was true. It wasn't made up. It's just the story has changed, truthfully. Like the story truthfully developed yesterday. The worst thing I can do is bring you something that didn't happen. <laughs> did you see what I mean? So that that is the window. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. Duran Duran is just where I left Duran Duran this morning. I mean, yeah, Geordie Boy's names are. But I, I'm not taking those Newcastle thing too seriously at the moment. I'm just um, bothered about us being in pole position still. And all we need to do, hopefully, is up to up the amount and the players hours and what normally West Ham do is not ideal but when a few deals get jittery the fans lose it goes online Sullivan reads about it then he might go back to Villa and say give him the extra three million because the last thing I want to do is lose Duran Duran and I'm losing all the right backs and then then the fans start you know coming into pre-season games and saying first game Celta Vigo, whatever, we're, we're going to shoot you with an apple or tomato, mate. And he's like, oh, do, do you know what you see what I'm getting? We, we are naturally going to get to the panic stations. That, and because it looks like the bulk of our money is, is still closed in the treasure, treasure chest, wherever that is, bottom of the Thames, where, or whatever. And and that, that was a good start to the window. Now getting a bit jittery, a bit nervy. And I know the, the players will come in eventually and we will spend all the money we've got. I know that, right? So if we've got 32 million for Duran Duran, we've got 16 million for this boy, we've got 50, 60 left. At least. At least. We should, should we say 50. That's that's all right, yeah, whatever. Any, anything more we don't know. So again, don't knock the messenger. So if we've got 50 million left and we've got a few more players to go out the window, we'll bring in a nice number, right? But what, what I don't want happening is we buy the wrong players. Because we didn't want to pay the right money for the main targets. A lot of you are telling Villa to F off. That's fine. If you don't like the player, that's a different argument. I haven't got the time to look at every single player in the world and say we should get him, we should get him, we should get him. It's all about whether the, they're available and they fit the West Ham type of model. Like I keep saying, we're not Barcelona, we're not Real Madrid, we're not Inter Milan, so certain players are not going to come. Right, and any certain player will come. And my job is to, when we are truthfully linked with a player, then I'll talk about it. So we're linked with Duran Duran, John Duran. I'm all right with it. I'm all right with it. He looks all right, what I've seen of him. He looks exciting, whatever he's done. Um, and quite importantly as well, a lot of Villa fans are speaking highly of him. And I believe him, saying he's really good, huge potential, monster of a player. If it wasn't for Watkins, of course he'll, he'll stay, right? And a and couple of clubs are fighting for him, willing to pay, yeah, 30, 40 million, whatever. That says something as well. He's in the premiership, right? Um, so I think he's all right. Um, whether you're saying walk away from the deal because the way Villa are behaving or he's overvalued. Uh, a player is as valuable to use what you'll pay for it. Do you remember? What, what is something worth is what you're willing to pay for it. Like Max Kilman, a lot of you, rightly or wrongly, 40 million is too much, 30 is about right. 
But for West Ham, he's worth 40 because the manager wanted him. And probably going to be our captain in the coming years, right? So he's worth a lot more towards a 40 end than 30. Do you see what I mean? So I don't really, I don't judge the fees. I don't judge the transfer fees, like I said. I am just really interested that the player's good and he fits the West Ham model and the formation. That's so important, everyone. We, we, we have been spending all right amounts of money in recent years, but largely on wrong players that haven't fitted in, haven't been scouted. We've panicked and we've gone into the French League, league as an example and, and pulled out... Um, one or two defenders like Agurd and Issa Diop before him, 30, 40 million, whatever, hasn't come off, um, that kind of thing. And the Brazilian lad, Glermi, I'm worried about that. I'm worried about that because uh, I've done nothing about him. Um, I need to be convinced. He, he needs to hit the ground running for West Ham. Sorry, we're not a type of a club that can have him sitting on the bench. 20 million signing sitting on the bench. I'm sorry, we, we can't do that. Um, I'd rather have gone into the championship and get a winger like that, or one or two. That's just me, because it's, it's fairly low risk. Language not an issue. Settling in not really an issue. Environment not an issue. You don't need a mum and dad with you like these Brazilian guys do. Do you see what I mean? I mean, the Gerd used to stay by himself in a five-bedroom house. And, 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 and again, the saying respectively, a lot of the South Americans struggle with their language. And even the Gerd, um, uh, um, what's his name? Not a Gerd. Um, uh, you know, the Man City striker. I'm so bad with names. Even at the end of his six, seven, eight, nine year contra uh, career in Premiership, he couldn't speak English. Um, so that's an issue, really. A Brazilian, they need a lot of settling in time. Some don't. Like the lad at Newcastle, he settled in fairly quickly, didn't he? Paqueta was kind of all right, but he was already in Lyon, wasn't he, for a while? Um, that's the kind of thing, really. It's 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 more for me. Judge the player. Is he good? Does he excite you? And does he fit in? And does the manager want him? And, and that's it. That's that. And 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 then and it should be okay. You know, if you're gonna play four four two, then play a centre back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, centre back for centre back, left back for. What you don't want to do is buy a left back, then you want to play wing back or um, central attacking midfielder you want to play him in a 4 2 3 one on the wing or you've got a striker playing in two you want to play him up front on his own that worries me there's very few coaches that can do it that can you know maneuver players around but i rather just get comfortable on the formation the manager's comfortable with if that makes sense and then he knows who to buy like, like jayla wants to play a pressing game he wants to have possession. So he wants technically gifted, ball possession, comfortable, long pass, short pass players. Like the Wolves guys I was mentioning, Neto, Nunes, all those kind of like Modric, you know, all them lot. We used to have Bishop, Monka, uh, Berkovic, Ben, all those types. He wants a few of them in the centre mid, right? That completely makes sense to me. Suchek. We will see what happens with Suchek. Um... Yeah, so that's the main thing for me. Um, listen, I wasn't that uh, that mad about this Maserahi deal, right? I wasn't jumping up and down and going nuts, right? I was just happy to go along with it, right? Um, I felt he had a good potential, good technical ability. Injuries, we don't know, do we? We don't know. Some people get a lot of injuries early in the career and never get injured again, and vice versa. I was. I thought the money was worth. It was a. It was a money that I was really happy with. Even though I've just gone against what I was saying earlier on. But I thought, whoa, if we spend ten, five, ten million less on this player, then then we have earmarked for that position. Then we've clawed some of that money back. That perhaps we've overpaid for Kilman into back into the other position. You know, you see what I mean. So lots of different facets to look at. But the most important thing for me is that. If you really wanted this guy. But then again, if they've said no, they've said no. So again, there's another thing, isn't it? No matter if he's number one, number two, number three on your list, if the player said no, that's the biggest thing. You can't sign him. End of story, mate. End of really. So anyway, I'm going to go back to work and, and keep following the news. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of developments. There's going to be new right backs linked now. Whether we go back to the Walker Peters deal, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I can't predict nothing. This window's nuts at the moment really so yep yeah, that's it from me everyone
put your comments down as usual and I'll reply and all that. So I've just had a chicken, mushroom, pie and chips and all that and I'm all right now. And um, yeah, I need to trim my little beard, have a little shower. Bought a new projector actually. About to tell you, I bought a new projector, 100 inch screen. Ooh, it's a dog's bollocks, mate. I set it up in the West Ham bar. Oh my God, very, very good. Looking forward to connecting it all up next couple of days. Put it up in a bracket. And then we might do a show from there. We'll see what happens, everyone. But anyway, you guys have a um, good Friday. Olympics. Ceremony. First one outside the ground going to be on the river. I used to love the Olympics as a kid. I know it ain't the same as what it used to be. A bit like the FA Cup, I suppose. I used to love the FA Cup. I used to love the Olympics. Jazz, get off me. Let, let, the, let the guys go. Take care. God bless. Yeah.